Hi guys, welcome back to another daily tarot card. These are your daily tarot cards for Wednesday, July 7th, 2021. Today we're pulling from the Wild Unknown Tarot cards. So we have the lovers and the, I feel like, you know, they always say like, you know, the best leader is someone that leads side by side with who they're trying to lead rather than be a dictator at the top. But I feel like with the two of you, I, I don't necessarily feel a romantic relationship. I feel like this is you, um, two strong individuals that just, you know, get along with each other and they're able to soar beside each other. And I feel like, you know, it's just complete harmony. It's complete bliss. We have temperance and, you know, you see with this pulled blue herring that they're actually crying and the tears are actually making the fire stronger. I feel like this pain will uh, be useful in the future. I feel like they're saying that this pain is going to ignite that fire inside of you and make you soar. You do see how one of their wings is open and this one isn't completely to their body. So I feel like you're getting ready to spread your wings and fly. I feel like you're planning your future with the chariot. You're taking, get, regaining control of your future. To me, this looks like the full moon. And we have the pentacles around the neck. I feel like this is wish fulfillment, full circle on a situation. This is very reminiscent of the six of uh, wands, as well as the sun card. Because in the sun card, we're a child. So I feel like a beginning of a successful future. With the six of wands, I definitely feel like it's like sustained success. You're Victor wearing the wreath in that situation, but it's always staying on the horse's back. And I feel like they're saying, stay fixated on your goals. Every petition that you put out from now until this comes to fruition. So we have the new moon on July 10th. I feel like they're saying, make sure those petitions are echoing what you want. Your visualization and your hearing, your clairvoyance and your clairaudience. You're visualizing it. You're hearing this. I feel like you've been getting knockings of this in your dreams. So I feel like they're saying like they're giving you encouragement and keep fixated on this and don't let people wave your, you from this path. Keep fixated. And I feel like you will have some sort of information by the full moon. Either so, you're going to start making steps or it will come full circle by the full moon of July. They're saying August, September. So who knows? I feel, you know what I mean? I, I, every journey is different, but maybe this is when you're going to start making steps or you're going to start seeing more things moving forward. Things will start moving forward from that full moon. We have Mother of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like they're highlighting the monarch, female monarch of the family or the mothering type in the family where they're always protecting, supporting, time, dedication, determination, Always about the children. Put the children first. This child is sleeping. The fawn is sleeping. And the mother's ears are up. Just like the rabbit. Remember we're saying that. So our clear audience. You know I always say our little antennas are getting hits here. And she's always out on the, the look. They're paying attention to the peripheral. So things that we don't see in our blind spots. I feel like she, you know the way that the, the animal's head is shaped. She's able to see the peripheral and everything. We have daughter of pentacles. They're highlighting a child in your family, in unconditional love for yourself and for themselves. And I feel like this is a, a strong, independent child you can depend on. You need a, a hand doing something. We're, again, highlighting you're a strong individual, but sometimes we need an extra hand to help us out, right? So I feel like this is the child you can depend on. Can you come help me for two seconds? And they're showing like a, a wood beam. So it's like, can you lift this wood beam for a second? And then you, you put it on something so that way it's level. But this is someone you can count on. And I feel like that somehow will play a, a part in the future. We have the hangman, and this is where they're saying stay fixated on your goals. So we see with the eyes being highlighted with that bright red, usually when bats are sleeping, their whole body is in this cocoon when they sleep, you know? So they're they're completely, you know, blocked out. You, they can't see nothing around them. But here, even though in a sleep state or a dormant state, they're still looking around them. But there's someone that is very negative that is either going to say comments or neg ne negative, negative, negative. Negative, nasty things moving forward, trying to knock you from moving forward. They don't want to see you succeed. They don't want you doing this because they know that, that that's it for them. I feel like this is the, the time to put this person in the back burner, especially what they say and what they do. You know, their actions will speak louder than words. So it's just like, you know, keep that in mind. And I definitely feel like this is breaking free. Something that needs to be put to the back burner for a long time now. They're in your circle, but they need to be put further out. You know, I feel like they'll always be a part of your life, but they need to be put further out of the circle. 
as close as they are, then it's just, mm. we have the three of wands definitely saying success. We have the three of wands talking about the future. We're looking out on the future. You are a strong, independent individual. So we get that twice. Strong, independent, independent individual. You do have backup with your children. Strong, strong, independent individuals. But I feel like they're saying, stay fixated on the future, on this goal. Whatever this is what you want to accomplish, again, all your intentions, all your wishes that you put out there, make sure it's fixated on this goal. You will be the victor wearing the wreath. You will have your ship come in, you know, and some financial support. Everything will just somehow, some way. We don't know how things work out sometimes, and the universe just sits there and has all the, the just everything line up one after another. And everything will line up for you and you will be successful in this. So we're going to start off with the lovers from according to the wild unknown on the far left here. So union, desire, joy. Two Canadian geese are mates for life, traveling partners with an, an expansive sky. The lover's card is a welcoming sight in any reading as it suggests a beautiful and strong relationship on the horizon. Yes, you will experience all the thrills of desire and romance but meanwhile you'll be building a solid foundation together and i feel like with this individual if it's not a love situation i feel like the two of you are rebuilding a future together with a strong foundation because you're both strong individuals and never again will if something happens in one's life you will pick them up this could be a gem in your life as they call it like a best friend or a family member or someone to you know even a partner where it's like if, you know, when you're down or knocked down, I'll pick you up. Like you both will be that yin and yang to each other. The lovers honor and respect each other. And with that, they can go anywhere. If you're already in a relationship, it's time to be grateful and nourish the rare and precious gem. And I feel like sometimes we forget how lucky we are and blessed we are with having someone in our life that has stood the test of time that someone that has always had our back. So I feel like, you know, especially with that kind of card, it's a reminder. Don't sit there and treat people in a certain way. Always be mindful in the back of your mind, how lucky you are to have someone like that still in your life. So we're going to go to the far right with temperance, healing and renewal. So this is where I feel like you probably went, I went through a cycle in life where, and remember, like with the Wheel of Fortune, it could take days, months, even years for the wheel to come to a completion. So it just depends where, where we are in life. That's why I always try to be open to every interpretation. Because it's like, just because this reminisces with someone, it may not resonate with you. But this interpretation may, may resonate with you. And then you're like, oh, okay. So it's just, it depends who you are. You know, like they say, Alice through the looking glass. Depends how you're looking through it. So with temperance, the great blue herring remi remains calm and peaceful as she blends the opposite elements of fire and water. The temperance card asks you to be to be a moderator, much like the heron. Focus on cooperation and co compromise. If you've been excessive in one aspect of your life, patience, self-resistance, and moderation now. You'll find a new sense of healing balance from bringing a little harmony back into your life. But I feel like with the temperance card, what they were showing me with IG is that um, as you go forward, you know, we with temperance, we're, we're allowing the water to smoothly run back and forth. This is a card of patience. This is a card of taking a step back and trusting the universe. So maybe, yes, you are fixated on a goal, but they're saying a little patience will go a long way. Sit there and let the water to move, swip, swip, move back and forth, you know as they want to, but this is, they're making a path smoother for you as we move forward to, you know, the sun, this path forward is going to lead you to the sun. This could be a runway that you're going to run on much like an airplane, but, but like birds and just take off and start to fly. So I definitely feel like the temperance is getting you ready for the fool, a whole new journey. So we go to the chariot. Strong will triumph. The chariot is your confidence, your will, and your inner warrior. At points in your life when you felt the bliss of achievement or triumph, you were riding on his back. But uh, build a relationship with this part of yourself. Try to quote unquote see. So again, our clairvoyance, our clairaudience. We're, I feel like this is our dreams. You probably have heard knockings of this before. 
And now you're starting to make steps towards it. Like you keep hearing more and more knockings. Things are falling into place. So I feel like spirit is trying to lead you to this path and saying you will be much better if you go this way. We've been going this way. We've gone as far as we can on this path. So we're, it's not so much starting at the beginning. I feel like they're saying you've healed. You've done everything that we need going with temperance. And now we're going to lead you down a different path. Or we're coming back full circle. This is what you should have done in the first place. And it's fine. Maybe you were guided wrong. Build a relationship with this part of yourself. Try to see the, the, the chariot inside you. The more focus your mind, the easier it will be to sense his presence and stay mounted on his back. With a fixed gaze and sure footing, you'll be headed towards your dreams. And I feel like spirit will continue to sit there and giving you more and more sure footing. I feel like they will sit there and they will make things happen. And you're just like, you know, okay, it's great. But, you know, maybe I don't have the finances for it. So all of a sudden, you'll have the finances come in. You know, with the three of wands, your ship is going to come in. And I feel like, you know, they just fit well together. It makes a complete triangle. You're a strong individual, but put the three wands together, you're going to, it's a complete triangle. It's a foundation. And I feel like you have a strong individual beside you that will guide you, will support you. Even though when you feel unsure about the situation, they will give you that those, you know, words to calm you down and make sh and realize like, yes, this is what I want. So the mother of pentacles. So highlighting to me, it's like the queen of pentacles, highlighting the female monarch in the family that is financially responsible for the family is, but also like a helicopter mom or helicopter parent where they're always about the kids. Sometimes we lose our identity as a parent because it's like children home, you know, repeat children home, repeat. And I feel like sometimes we become resentful because we lose our identity. So it's just like, as the children become more independent, it's like, what can I do for myself? Where, where can I set out some time for myself in a day? Maybe getting together with your friends and playing squash, maybe going out for a run. You're a physically active person. So I feel like that's where you get your strength from. It's like, you know, even though you're exhausted from home life, I feel like, you know, playing competitive squash, you know, uh, um, maybe at the YMCA or the gym or sitting there and you're going to um, go for a run. You're getting grounded with nature. You're letting Mother nurture, Nature's force go up in your heels, up to your whole body. And you're getting rid of all that excess energy where it's like you're at home, but the kids are content. Everything is done, but it's like, I need to do something to keep myself even more busier. So it's just like, okay, let's go out for a run. And then you can burn, burn off that energy, take a shower, and then, you know, maybe read a book to the kids before bedtime. So it's just like learning, putting it somewhere. Is it a hobby? Is it hanging out with your friends? Is it exercising? There's somewhere where we can put this energy. Domestic, loving, patient. The mother of pentacles excels in the home. She knows exactly what to do while raising a family and tending to the task of daily life. There's a potential for her, uh, for her identity <coughs> to become wrapped entirely around her children and home, which leaves her needy and attached. This is the, the, if this is the case of, uh, must, sorry, cause of most of her turmoil. She often has uh, qualities of healer is very connected to nature. So I feel like, again, okay, we're sitting there and it's like, I don't mind being these things. I don't mind having the title of, you know, um, you know, stay at home parent, but it's just like, I need something outside of that as well. So I don't feel like it, like it needs to be something huge where it's like, okay, I'm going to go back to work, but it's just like, I feel like, you know, just time for you, maybe going out for a beer with the friends, having a cocktail, you know, for going out for a couple hours, just to take your mind off of mommy mode all the time or parenting mode all the time. So, uh, daughter of pentacles. I feel like this is one of your children, unconditional love where going back and forth where they sit there and they always have your back. And I feel like moving forward in the future, I feel like that is going to be like, you know, another pillar in your foundation that you have. You know, that's going to be this, the, the supporting beam, you know, like if you talk about a household and they talk about foundation, I feel like that they will be always your support system. You usually find the daughter of pentacles behind the scenes rather than out in the spotlight. Though quiet, shy, she's extremely hardworking and responsible. She handles details and logistics. Well, people uh, depend on her. She has vast amounts of inner strength. Like all of the pentacle family, the daughter thrives when in nature. So I feel like it's not, not only in nature, I feel like it's like, you know, they know that you have their back. I feel like they need that support system as much as you do. 
you know, hearing that you're thankful. Don't forget to thank them. Like, you know, people, some people just like, oh, well, that's their job. Like, no, sit there and say, I appreciate the fact that you put your video game down and came to help me for five minutes. You know, you know that mommy or daddy is a strong, independent individual, but sometimes I need another hand. I need another set of hands. And you're that for me. And I appreciate the fact that you do that for me. I appreciate while I'm gardening that you sit in a lawn chair, even though it's as boring as it may be, and just yit yakking with me while I'm doing the gardening. And it makes it go much faster. Showing your appreciation for your children. A lot, some parents forget that, you know, because a lot of kids are self-absorbed. I hate to say that in their phone, social media, TikToking for 18, 15 hours, chit-chatting on the phone. And it's like they have no conversation with their parents. You don't even know who your child is. So when they do sit there and take that time out to sit there and be by your side, it's important for you to sit there and acknowledge that, you know, what they did for you. I feel like it'll go a long way and I feel like it'll build a stronger foundation. So we have the hangman. So this is very much our eyes. So I feel like visions, I feel like our dreams is where it's like, you know, I feel like with this whole thing with the future, you've been having knockings about it because I definitely get futuristic with temperance. Uh, with the chariot, <coughs> with the hangman and the five, or excuse me, the three of wands. I definitely get fixated on, and it's, there's four cards and that's a foundation. So I definitely feel like this strong pull towards the future. Many people talk about the art of letting go, but what does it mean, really mean? How do you achieve it? The hangman has all the answers. He is the master of non-attachment. This card implies there is a sacrifice or a difficult or painful situation coming up in your life. Though you naturally want to resist a struggle through it, but more but more like the hangman. I feel like um, it's like we don't like conflict. So instead of having a conflict, we avoid it, you know, but I feel like they're saying um, there is going to be a conflict here, but this pain will be useful. This pain will be will be useful in the future. It's just like, I feel like you'll learn who this person actually is, you know, and then this is not the first time their nasty side has come out. Find stillness, open your eyes and use the new perspective to learn something. You're, you're, you're stuck here either way. So I feel like you do have to make a decision here, but I feel like you have for once for, uh, for a long time, I feel like you have to live for yourself. I feel like if you want to grow, this needs to happen. I feel like you're kind of stagnant now. You've gone as far as you can on this path and now it's time to change direction. So we have the wheel, or pff, the wheel, the three of wands, um, envisioning the future. The three of wands indicates you've had continued support from others, perhaps from your parents or two good friends. And I feel like this is where they're, they're saying that you have the support to do this. You know, the chariot, keep fixated on this goal. And you will keep riding on the, you will keep being successful. Temperance, you know, even though it's emotional, you're getting ready to fly. Remember we had the gosling? Now the temperance is this full grown, blue, beautiful herring. And it's like, you know, our wingspan is much bigger now. So it's like, you've done everything you need to do. You know, it's kind of like a, a, the, those, one of those robot vacuums where it's like, you can, it can't smash in this wall no more. We got to change course. So I feel like that's what you're doing. You're batting your head against a wall. And it's like, well, we're not burrowing through this wall now. So time to change, change course. Uh, with their help, you you formed a sense of self, of your values and morals. But now it's time to rely on yourself for guidance. Clarify your goals and rely, do what you feel is right. Not what blah, blah, blah think. This is your time to live your life. No more, dis you don't have to make any decisions for by anyone else's book. This is time to live your life to, and to write your next chapter of this life. Maybe you're starting a whole entire book here, but it's like, you got to do what is right enough for living for everyone else. There's no more fear to scare you. I feel like the fear may come from this individual here, but it's like, that's their insecurities. And you have to realize that it's time to live your life. You have a life that you want to live that you want to form for yourself, you got to do this. But now is the time to rely on yourself for guidance. Clarify your goals and cast others' needs and opinions aside. The future is infinite and it is yours. No one else can see through the layers of light and shadow. I feel like it's time. 
I feel like if you would have done this in the first place, you would have been successful. I just feel like you don't re you didn't realize how strong you were. You didn't realize you like you know the universe has your back, but it's just like, you know, this was a very different journey than anything else. So I definitely feel like it's like we've gone as far, far as we can. Now it's time to I feel like this is a whole new book. I feel like this book, the one that we're closing, this chapter we're closing is the end of this book. Now we're closing it permanently. We're not fluttering back through those only just for experience. You know, kind of like the magician. We'll only go back to the past and be like, oh, I've been in this situation before. What, what, you know, and I said, uh, you know, if hindsight was twenty twenty. what would I change? Now this is an opportunity to, to, to rectify that wrong. Where I went wrong in the past. I've grown from that situation. That is the only time we go back and pass books. Is to go back and make a change. You know when, the, when we have hindsight is twenty twenty, But I definitely feel like they're saying. This is your time to shine. This is where we're about to write a whole new book here. So buckle up and get ready. This is definitely going to be a successful one. I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards. For Wednesday July the 7th 2021. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next Daily Tarot card. Bye.